We now learn about composite functions. In particular, we'll be learning how to construct composite functions. Now we can see here that we're given two functions. We have f of x, which equals to 2x minus 7, and g of x, which equals to x squared minus 1. Now put simply, a composite function is a function of a function. And given two functions, like the ones we have here, f and g, we can construct two composite functions. And here's how that works. The first function we can make is referred to as f of g of x, and we can write that as follows. We write f, and in square brackets, g of x, and that's read f of g of x. Now the way to construct this composite function, f of g of x, is by rewriting the function f of x, but replacing every x we see by g of x. So that would look like this. f of g of x equals to 2 times g of x minus 7, where all I've done is replace the x inside f of x by g of x. Now, if I replace g of x by its actual expression, x squared minus 1, that leads to 2 times, in parentheses, x squared minus 1, close parentheses, minus 7. Now, distributing the 2 across the parentheses leads to 2x squared minus 2 minus 7. And finally, simplifying, we can state that the composite function f of g of x is equal to 2x squared minus 9. And that's the composite function f of g of x. As I said at the beginning of this tutorial, given two functions, we can construct two composite functions. And the second composite function we can make is known as g of f of x. And the way we make this function is very similar to what we've just seen. All we have to do is copy the function g of x, but Every x we see in its expression is replaced by the function f of x. And that would look like this. We'd have f of x in parentheses squared minus 1. And now replacing f of x by its expression, which was 2x minus 7, that leads to 2x minus 7 in parentheses squared minus 1. And that equals to 4x squared minus 7. 28x plus 49 minus 1. And finally, simplifying this, we find the expression for g of f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 28x plus 48. And that's the final answer. We now have the composite function g of f of x. Now this example highlights something quite important. In general, f of g of x will not equal to g of f of x. Although it is possible, most of the time they won't be. And let me just scribble that down on the right-hand side. You'll want to make a note of that. In general, f of g of x is not equal to g of f of x. Another thing worth pointing out is that to refer to f of g of x, I wrote f followed by square brackets inside of which I wrote g of x. But there's actually another notation that can be used, and that we need to make sure we're familiar with. Indeed, another way of writing f of g of x is as follows. We write in parentheses f followed by a little empty circle, g, close parentheses, and x in parentheses. This is read f of g of x. And just to be clear, this is the same thing and is equal to f of g of x. Now, it doesn't matter which of these notations you choose to use. Nevertheless, it is very important to know what each of these refers to, and that is the composite function f of g of x. And in a similar way, we can write the same thing for g of f of x. That would be, in parentheses, g, small circle, f, close parentheses, of x equals to g of f of x in square brackets. Okay, now that we've made a note of that, and that we know how to construct a composite function, let's work through a couple more examples. Here we're given f of x which equals to 3 over 2x minus 1, 
as well as g of x, which equals to 5x plus 7. And we're asked to find an expression for f of g of x. Well, as we've just seen, to do that, all we need to do is to copy the expression we have for f of x, but replace every x we see inside the function by g of x. So here's what that would look like. f of g of x equals to 3 over 2 times g of x minus 1. We now replace g of x by its expression, which is 5x plus 7, and that leads us to 3 over 2 times 5x plus 7 minus 1. And now distributing this 2 across the parentheses on the denominator, we can state that that's equal to 3 over 10x plus 14 minus 1. And finally, simplifying the denominator, we can state that f of g of x is equal to 3 over 10x plus 13. And that's the final answer. Let's look at one more example. Here we're given f of x equals to the square root of x and g of x equals to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And we're asked to find an expression for the composite function g of f of x. To do this, we copy the expression for g of x, which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, but we replace every x we see by the function f of x. That would look like this. g of f of x equals to 2 times f of x in parentheses and squared minus 3 times f of x plus 1. Now we replace f of x by its expression, which was the square root of x. That leads us to 2 times the square root of x squared minus 3 times the square root of x plus 1. And since the square root of x squared is equal to x, we can write our final answer as g of f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 times the square root of x plus 1. And that's the final answer. We now have an expression for the composite function g of f of x. And that's it for this tutorial.